Each week, we cover a missing person case here on News Nation. To date, we have featured more than 100 cases in our ongoing missing series. This issue is very important to us, and it has recently caught our attention that one state is seeing an alarming number of missing kids. The Ohio Attorney General's office says more than 1,000 kids, 1,000 have been reported missing so far this year, with a large number of those disappearances centered around the Cleveland area. Cleveland police tell us that they are working about 65 active missing kids cases right now. They say many of those cases can be categorized as habitual runaways. Still, the chief acknowledged missing children's cases in the Cleveland area are up about 20% this year. The question being, why are the numbers so high in Ohio? John Majoy is president of the board of directors for Cleveland Missing, also the Newburgh Heights police chief. John, thank you for being with us this morning. I've seen this story kind of trickle to the surface over the last couple of weeks. It is highly concerning whether they're runaways or not. Put this in perspective and context for me, these numbers and, and how concerned you are. So to begin, thank you for having me. And, and this is a very important topic and we appreciate the attention that's being directed towards it. So the, the numbers are up just a little bit and there's uh, several different variables to equate to it. Uh, you know, we had an influx in the late spring and in May into June. Uh, when the weather was turning nice in Ohio and school was letting out. And then now we're entering the fall, the weather's still halfway decent, kids are back in school, but uh, some of them clearly don't wanna go to school and they become runaways. Uh, but it's also important to note that, you know, one child missing is one too many. And so uh, this is why we need to, to keep this at the forefront. We need to go ahead and let the public know that they are our biggest asset in bringing these kids home safe, uh, because there's just not enough officers out there to be the eyes and ears uh, like the, the public is. And so with the number that we have, um, again, it is a little bit higher, uh, but as you heard from Cleveland, that uh, a lot of these are habitual runaways, which doesn't minimize the dangers because these, uh, these children are uh, susceptible to be victimized, whether it's into uh, drugs or uh, gang, gang violence or sex trafficking or something like that. Right, and we know traffickers target kids, they lure them, they have gotten very um, creative in the ways that they go about their business to try to trap children. The age range for kids that are missing in this area tends to be about 12 to 17. What is the trafficking situation in Ohio and has it gotten worse and how is it being investigated? So one of the problems with the trafficking is, is that this is sometimes a crime that's happening right underneath of our noses and we don't even know it. Uh, but fortunately, Northeast Ohio, we have a human trafficking task force and they do a really good job at uh, following up on tips and, and being proactive in, in what they do. Um, but again, it's just one of those crimes where, you know, a lot of people don't really tie certain things into it, like, you know, prostitution. They just think that it's a, a misdemeanor crime, you know, but forced prostitution becomes human trafficking and it can lead to other things. And again, sometimes these kids, they just don't even know that they're being victimized when they get lured into situations like this, which makes these cases all the more important. What else stands out to you about the rise in Ohio compared to other states right now? You know, I don't know that there's any one acute thing that says, okay, this is the boilerplate reason why we're seeing this. Um, I, I think it's just more over a unique situation. Uh, what we don't want to do is we don't want to overemphasize this and create public panic. Right now, there's no intelligence pointing to any serial uh, abductors or, or anything unusual like that. The most recent Amber Alert in Northeast Ohio was in the end of June uh, with the Keyshawn Williams case, who unfortunately still remains missing. Uh, however, I give credit to the Cleveland Police Department because they're actively working this case. Uh, this past weekend, they were in the Slavic Village era, area where they were orchestrating uh, with volunteers to go door to door to hand out flyers. And so it still remains an active case. There's still a lot of concern. Uh, but again, kudos to the Cleveland Police Department because they continue to work this and they work it hard. Yeah, well, as you mentioned, one missing child, whether they left on their own or not, is one too many. John Majoy, uh, we'll continue to follow this. And um, I know many of these cases get solved, but many are still mysteries. And we remain a partner with you to try to solve them. Thank you. Thank you very much. We appreciate the partnership. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.